Tomorrow, first year at Hogwarts, part one brilliant event begins. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Let's start out with some of the basics. The event's gonna run from August 11th through the 18th, which is a Tuesday to a Tuesday, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And like normal, there are gonna be 1.5 kilometer port keys that you can walk that will be the brilliant port keys. Let's go ahead and talk about the five foundables that you'll find on the Brilliant Registry page for this. The first two you'll see as encounters, it's Bagrod and the Monsters Book of Monsters, both brilliant. And you'll see them on the main map and there'll be tasks associated with um, returning so many of them. For both Bagrod and the Monster Book of Monsters, you'll need 20 fragments to be able to place that image. Next up is first year shopping list. It's five fragments to place the image. You'll get that from 1.5 kilometer port keys, but if you make it to the bonus tasks, which we'll talk about in a little bit, at the end of that, they're gonna give you five fragments for doing that. And I think that's to try to help people out that are uh, maybe having to stay inside and not able to get out and walk, that if they can make it through the bonus tasks, then they would be able to do it without having to walk port keys is the idea. Next up is the stack of cauldrons. This is an event task award, and you'll just get one fragment and that'll allow you to place the image. So you're only gonna be able to place this image one time. And it comes when you finish finish the fourth set of tasks. You kind of finish all the tasks and then you're awarded this. And lastly is the Gringotts facade. You need to have three fragments to place it. So three out of three to get it placed in the registry. You might be able to do this multiple times because um, as you rank up this event registry page, you'll be awarded runestones, the brilliant level one runestones for this event. When you go to fortresses and use them, you have a chance to get this fragment to drop. It's not 100% by any stretch, so you'll have to run multiple fortresses. There's a task that requires you to do some of this anyway, so it kind of will happen naturally. As per usual, there will be four bundles in Diagon Alley that uh, one is free and then the other ones you can actually pay for. So the first one up is the complimentary gift, which standard they're gonna give you the ingredients for a tonic for trace detection, which will become useful in one of the tasks potentially for you, and 25 spell energy. All you need to do to get that is go to Diagon Alley and just claim it. So it, it is free, it doesn't cost you any coins. Next up is the SOS bundle, which is five silver keys and 100 spell energy. For 450 coins, I'm not sure I'll be getting it because um, I do have a decent number of silver keys right now. And then spell energy, I'm able to go to some places and get enough energy anyway. And, and then of course it's spawning on the ground as well. So, but if it's something where you are in a lack of energy area, this may be helpful to you. Next up is the brilliant bundle, which is three Barufios and then 10 potent extimula potions for 740 coins which that's kind of expensive i think for sure but again if you really need these i would say the potents are probably not as necessary the brufios actually there is a task that requires you to use two brufios and we'll go over that in a second so if you really needed it but we are going to talk about how to maybe prep for being able to brew them yourself so that you can use the ones that you brew to make it past that task and then the last bundle won't be available immediately when the event starts. It only unlocks when you unlock the bonus tasks. So once you've made it past the first four sets of tasks and the bonus tasks unlock and you see them in your special assignments, then you can go back to Diagon Alley and this will have appeared. In fact, Diagon Alley will probably put the red dot up for you. And the bonus assignment bundle has 10 Brufios, 10 potent extimula potions, 10 silver keys, and 150 energy but does cost 2,100 coins, so it's a lot of coins. They are giving you a lot of stuff, but it's definitely a good, healthy chunk of coins. Again, I'm not sure I'll be getting that. I usually am able to brew enough, and I don't necessarily need the spell energy, nor do I have 2,100 coins right now. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tasks themselves. So the, and there's four sets of tasks as per usual in these events. So the first set of tasks is right up here. And the first thing you gotta do is collect two ingredients or portmanteaus from the ground, which should be pretty easy. Just pick up anything. If you don't have space in your vault, like I don't sometimes, just try to get rid of a couple things that you don't need at that moment, or even better, look at what's on the ground and what you're about to pick up and maybe drop some of those. Or if you're able to brew potions, Brew those potions, get rid of some of those ingredients to create that space. Then they really don't go to waste. 
Anyway, if you do that, you get to a rumpen horn, which a rumpen horn is used in tonic for trace detection, if you're wondering what use it has. Which brings us right into the next task, which is to brew a tonic for trace detection one time, which will get you six snowdrop, which snowdrop are used for extimulo potions, so definitely hold on to those. Those can definitely be useful. But for the brew, the tonic for trace detection, even though you're getting some rumpen horn from the previous step, and you could brew it right now if you want, but just the way that the mechanic for brewing works, it's not actually looking for you to brew it, it's actually looking for you to collect it. So if you've already brewed one, like if I brewed one today and just held on to it until this event started, as soon as I was able to get into these tasks, if I just went and collected that, tonic for trace detection, it would give me credit for doing this. So you can pre-brew this. So that's actually my first tip, is go ahead and have a tonic for trace detection ready on uh, tomorrow, on Tuesday when it starts, and just have it ready to queued up so that you can collect it and check this off real quickly. And then lastly, to finish this out, is to um, return five brilliant Monster Book of Monsters, which gets you a strong extimulo potion. And the Monster Book of Monsters will be the event spawns with the purple beam, and you'll find them. Bogrod will be appearing too. In this case, you just need the Monster Book of Monsters. And if you do all those things, you're gonna get 550 wizarding experience, 50 family experience for this brilliant registry page, two restricted section books, and 10 spell energy. Moving on to the second set of tasks, you can see the first thing you've got to do is use mas the master notes two times to make a brew faster. So I, I have a feeling I know why they put this in there. Because of what I talked about where when they ask you to brew potions, you can kind of pre-brew them and do this. This actually requires that you put in those master notes. So it means you're going to have to wait till you get to this step, and then you're going to have to brew at least two things using master notes. But when you do that, it's going to get you um, Powdered Dragon Claw, which is used in Barufio's Brain Elixir. One nice thing is if you look at the second task, brew four potions. On two of those four potions, use Master Notes, and you kind of get to do both at the same time. My recommendation for brewing those four potions is start to collect the ingredients now for some shorter potions. Like for me, I have actually collected enough Extimulo potion ingredients that I'll be able to brew four of those so I can use the Master Notes on the first two and then finish out the other ones. Now, in this case, it gets a little bit tricky because you still just have to brew four potions which means during the first step I could actually pre-brew two of them and when I get to this step I can collect those two which will give me credit for brewing two potions so now I just have two left and those I want to use the master notes on so I should initiate those brews at this time if that makes sense so have two ready, collect them, It'll you'll get two toward the four, and then the next two, use the master notes, and when you're done with brewing those two potions, you'll be set up. Anyway, you get two Leaping Toads duel for that, which is also used for Brufios. So they just gave you the Dragon Claw and the Leaping Toads duel. The Leaping Toads duel being the harder thing to get out of that. And the last thing you need to do to finish set two of the tasks is collect two of the Gringotts facade fragments. Those are the ones you get from fortresses. Now at this point, you probably will have already gotten some rune stones from the event. So just go into fortresses using those rune stones and you should get some fragments at some point. Like I said, it's not 100%. Anyway, you do get a dark detector for that. If you finish the second set of tasks, you'll get 750 experience, wizarding experience, 75 family experience for this particular brilliant event registry page. You're gonna get three restricted section books and 10 spell energy as per normal. The third set of tasks starts with using Barufio's Brain Elixir two times, which will get you a um, Hermit Crab Shell, which that's used for Dawdle Draft, if you're wondering what you use it for, which it is definitely one of the ingredients I do throw away a lot. I don't use Dawdle Drafts all the time. But, so you need two Barufio's Brain Elixirs for this. So again, it's just asking you to use them. You don't even have to brew them. So if you can make them prior to tomorrow or just prior to this step, it would be a good idea to try to brew them. These are definitely the ones I'll usually do overnight. When it's during a chunk of time where I'm, no, I'm not gonna do a lot of quick brewing, it's gonna take time anyway. So before you go to sleep, put the Brufios in if you have the ingredients. From the previous step, you got some of these already. And um, put it in overnight. And then when you wake up in the morning, you can just collect it and you have it. But anyway, if you have to choose on steps one and two to use the Brufios or not use the Brufios, if you're gonna not have a lot of access to Brufios, 
save them and wait till this step and then use them and you'll still end up getting that extra experience if you don't have the Rufios to spare. The second thing you have to do in the third set of tasks is earn 3000 wizarding experience, which you don't really specifically have to go out of your way to do that. Just play the game as normal and you'll complete this and you will get four ginger root for that. Ginger root is used for wit sharpening potions. So again, if you don't brew wit sharpening potions, this might be an ingredient you can throw away. If you do though, that's what it's for. And lastly is to return 10 brilliant Bogrod. Bogrod is the name of the goblin. And again, that will be one of the event spawns that's purple with the purple beam. That and the monster book of monsters. So you just need to return 10 of those and you get one silver key for that. And if you complete the third set of tasks, you're going to get uh, 1250 experience, wizarding experience, 75 family experience for the brilliant page. You're going to get five restricted section books and you're going to get 10 spell energy, which will then bring you to the fourth and final set of regular tasks before we get to the bonus tasks. And the first thing you have to do is complete five wizarding challenges, probably in the night bus for most people, with three or more teammates. And I'll remind you again, it doesn't have to be you and three people. It's three total people. So you and two people actually does meet the requirement for this. And that's going to get you one spell book. So next up we have place five brilliant images on the registry page. And again, the wording for this will probably change. That's happened in the past. Um, this image, uh, by the way, Orange Wizard 2019, all the images I'm using are from them. So I wanted to thank them for always making these great images for us to use, which is fabulous. Anyway, if you place five images on this registry page, you're gonna get one spell book for that. Now, speaking of the five images, number one, just be looking because the wording will probably change and so it'll probably have some other name. Just go look on the registry page. That's what the name of the page is gonna be. A lot of times we just don't know what the name of the page is prior to that. And so the wording will change and it'll, you'll be trying to figure out what they mean by it. Whatever the event page is, this task is just going to require you put five images down. Now, the tricky part here is in the past, they've asked us to place three images. And in for say for this event, three images would be Bogrod, because he's available 20 out of 20. You'd have to have 20 fragments, hold on to his image. Monster Book of Monsters, same thing, 20 out of 20. Hold on to that image. And then you really have two choices after that. You would either do the Gringotts facade, which comes from uh, wizarding challenges, because by this time you'll have runestones. You could go in, you could get three of them, get the three fragments, hold on to the image, and then you could place it at this time. When the, So when it used to be three, you could pretty confidently come into this with three images like ready to place without having to do any additional work. Well, this is asking for five. So the four that you actually could possibly have at this point are Bogrod, Monster Book of Monsters, Gringotts Facade from um, Wizarding Challenges. But then if you wanted a fourth at this point to actually have it ready to be placed, you would need to do um, five port keys and have get the fragments. Those are a guaranteed drop. So if you unlock five brilliant port keys from this event, you would then have the five fragments you need to place the first year uh, Hogwarts list. But that's still only four. So this is going to require that you yeah, at best you would have those four and then you would have to you're gonna have to grind out another one either grind out Bogrod the monster book of monsters go into wizarding challenges to get the Gringotts facade or have five more port keys ready which that I guess would be the quickest way to do it if you had the four I mentioned and then ten port keys um, or five more port keys you could actually go ahead and place that image, then open up those port keys, and then get five images immediately for the first year list, and then place that. That would be the fastest way to place it, essentially, to be able to place it without any additional grinding. So anyway, that was a really long explanation of having to place the five. And if you're wondering the stack of cauldrons, that's kind of the fifth brilliant foundable that'll be on that page. You get the fragment for that at the end of these rewards. So you you wouldn't be able to place it yet. You're gonna be able to place it right after this, but you will have already placed the images at that point. Anyway, I digress. Let's go to the next third and last task, which is to earn 5,000 experience from wizarding challenges, which means it's not just regular experience. You're going to have to do night bus or fortresses, and you're gonna to need to get 5,000 experience from that. So keep in mind, um, 
if you're getting regular experience and you're wondering why the, the meter's not going up, it's because it has to be from the night bus and fortresses. And that's gonna get you one spell book, just like the other two tasks. If you complete all the tasks in the set four of four, you're going to get the stack of cauldrons fragment. You'll just get one fragment. It lets you place that one image. You're gonna get 50 gold. You're gonna get five restricted section books five of the very coveted Defense Against the Dark Arts book, and 30 Energy, which the Dark Arts books, this event I think is really going to put a lot of people over on Defense Against the Dark Arts books where people have been saving them. I've been saving mine. Um, but this will actually get us to an amount of them that it's going to allow us to unlock nodes. Been a lot of discussion about which node is best to unlock with those things to open up more stuff. But we're not gonna talk about that in this video. That'll be for a different video. Once you finish up uh, set four of four, you'll kind of get a little thing that says you're kind of done, but then you back out and then you get the bonus tasks, which you can already see right here. So moving on to the bonus tasks. A lot of stuff involving potions with these. The first thing is you need to use tonic for trace detection two times. And this, again, it's not brew it, it's not use master notes, it's to actually use it. So if you already have them, you just hold on to them till you get to this task and use them and that will get you one spell book next up is kind of been the standard one for the second task of the bonus task is to return 45 brilliant foundables and returning foundables means from the main map so if you collected port keys and place the image placing the image isn't returning the foundable which means this is going to be all bog rods and monster book of monsters so you need 45 of a combination of them and that's going to get you one spell book as well and again same as they've been putting in the last many events is to to win in your highest unlocked chamber which for me because of this past saturday is now i'm finally i'm up at dark five finally really was a slow grind i never really was pushing but that event for me to finish it i had to get to dark five so if for me it'll be dark five for you it'll be whatever your highest chamber is which will then unlock the next chamber i'm guessing a lot of people after this most recent community day are going to be in dark five now though oh and that gets you one spell book next up is brew seven potions which gets you one Wit sharpening potion. So again, once you finish the set four of four, and maybe you're working on those 45 foundables, uh, brilliant foundables, which will take at least a little bit of time, um, I would go ahead and start brewing potions and you can have those kind of ready. You could actually have them ready prior to this and just collect them, which you could have, I guess, up to four with the regular cauldron kind of ready to go if you wanted to. But Really, my advice for this event is constantly be brewing potions and just look ahead to what tasks are coming if you need specific potions, like brew Rufios if you need them for set three of the task, or brew tonic for trace detections prior to getting to this step or that type of thing. Because if you have the tonic for trace detections brewed, but you haven't collected them yet, when you get to this step, you collect them, it'll get you'll get credit for brewing potions under that seven potions, and then at the same time, you'll have the two to use for this that first task. And then you can see in the last task, even more reason to have a bunch of potions on hand, you need to use five potions in Wizarding Challenges, which is going to get you a silver key. So I guess, especially for this, as well as all of them, is right now, it's a day before, just start brewing potions, even just extimulo potions, something you can go quicker. Healing potions would be fine to use the five. Brewing healing potions at this point, it's pretty quick. Again, you could do that while you're grinding out those 45. But we do have seven days to do this, so it's really not a super rush, but it is easier to go ahead and get the ingredients now for them and just have those shorter potions ready so that you can kind of crank them out a little bit quicker. And if you finish all the bonus tasks, which will finish up this event for you, you're gonna get 2,000 wizarding experience, you're gonna get 100 family experience for the Brilliant Page, you're gonna get five Defense Against the Dark Arts books, you're gonna get one title for your ministry ID, like a new title to call yourself. You're also gonna get um, five fragments of the Hogwarts first year school list which if you haven't gotten them from the port keys already, then you would be get those five images or five fragments and it'll allow you to place that image in the registry. Now, if you've already done the port keys, then this will just allow you to place it again. 
And lastly, they give you 30 energy like they've been doing in the past. So that pretty much covers everything you're gonna need to know about being able to complete this event. Um, I've talked about ways to do it faster, but again, with seven days, you don't have to really necessarily have all this stuff ready. You could do these things as they come along and you would do just fine if you're the type of person that does open up the game each day and, and dedicate some time to it. If you only have fewer days, then you might need to use some of these techniques to have things ready to really knock stuff out. Again, my best advice is potions. It's all about potions. Collect as many ingredients going into this as you can and um, be brewing the whole time because you're gonna just need so many to use. Tonics and brufios are specifically required to be used. And then other than that, it's a lot more generic like use potions, do master notes for potions. So it could be anything. Anyway, the event does start tomorrow and I'm pretty super excited because the last two days of this event, the 17th and 18th, I'll already be in Orlando. And on the 18th specifically, I will already be in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter for the last day of this event. And I'm on the East Coast, so I'll have till about 2 p.m. to be playing around with Bog Rod and that type of stuff in Diagon Alley or in Hogsmeade, either one. All that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.